a romance doomed to end in tragedy. Up what eat nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Akatsuki no Yona, aka Yona of the Dawn, chapters 192 through 193. And oh my god, last time I covered this manga, we started to get into Lady Yanhi's backstory and how she met uh um Oh my gosh. How she met uh um Lord Yuhan and how they fell in love. And it's so, such a beautiful love story. Oh my god. And where we left off where was where Lord Yuhan flat out said, he's like, I'm going to make you mine. I don't give a fuck. You're going to be, be with me forever, period. And I know this is going to end badly. But god damn it, I love this romance right now. Anyway, let's get to chapter 192 first and see what happens next. Uh, and chapter 192 is titled, A Castle Where the Voice of the Gods uh, Reverberates. Yanhi, aren't you uncomfortable? Is there anything you want? Uh, no. If there's something, just tell me. Sure. It's been three moons since I married Lord Yuhan and moved into the Crimson Dragon Castle. I want you no matter what. Come with me. This being too grave a decision for me to make alone. I had mum and Lord Yuhan meet. Ooh. See, seeing Lord Yuhan in the inevitably evitably that, um, uh, implied, she mustered a resolve and revealed the secret of our clan. Ooh. This is gonna be good. Descendants of the Crimson Dragon King? I dare say you thank me, but a, a mother who, uh, not knowing her place, comes before the crown prince and spouts a tale about the lineage of a, dra of a legendary king. However, if your lordship's uh, stated will is to take my daughter as your wife, come what may, I must con uh, convey this to you, uh, even on peril of uh, my life and of my f and of our family's fate. And on doing so, Mum went to descri on to describe how our family had plotted an insurrection against the current royal family. Holy shit! By declaring their legitimacy... Well, this explains a lot! Oh my god! By declaring their legitimacy as descendants of the Crimson Dragon King of ancient times and after um, and how after the populace turned against us as, as liars and um, half of the uh, clan su suffered punishment, we now live quietly conce concealing our lineage. Holy shit! Okay, this explains a lot. And then she... Um, uh, related to him uh, how our family members suffered from the crimson illness and the likelihood of a short lifespan is high for us. Yoni, as well as any children born uh, to her, might end up having the crimson illness. His uh, majesty, Jun Junam, probably will not grant his permission to uh, uh, your marrying a daughter of such a family. Lord Yuhan silently listened for a long time, but in short, it's okay if nobody knows, right? Uh, forgive me? Um, there should be no nuisances if the secret, uh, this re a secret remains secret, no. It's not like it's a contagious illness. Do you believe my story, my lord? I don't care in the least whether the story is true and is true or not. Damn it! I love, dude, you want, dude, you want, it's awesome. And I don't plan on looking into it. Still, she might not live, uh, live long. You can't be certain of that. Uh, you can't be certain of that, though. And I, I don't know when I'm going to die either. Dude, this man is awesome. There isn't a single reason for uh, me to give up on Yanhi. If you just want to keep uh, living a tranquil life, I shall see to it that your social status remains unchanged. That's a promise. I'll definitely protect Yanhi. Thus, I can seal my lineage and made my way to the castle. Dude! This shit right here. This right here is shows what tr this shit is true fucking love. That's what this is. I miss my family. Uh, there were also voices uh, who said they could live in grand style as uh, legitimate heirs to the Crimson Dragon King if they became members of the royal family. But everyone ended up getting cold feet and um, uh, choosing to remain cautious. I don't blame them. But God, this explains a lot. Um, there's nothing for you to be concerned about. I'll take care of everything. I'll also obtain my old man's permission. It's those Shinto priests that are an eyesore. They've been te telling me to use the shrine for the wedding ceremony, but if there's uh, one place I'm definitely not going to use, it's that shrine. As as it is, uh, those priests spout um, uh, divine uh, oracles and have uh, have gone as so far as meddling in the government affairs. The old man and eel take their mumbo jumbo seriously. Uh, when I become king, um, I'll change the ways of the shrine. Lord Yuhan is away on uh, um, work, making a uh, Hyori your bo bodyguard. This guy's crazy strong, so be at ease. Er, uh, Mr. Hyori? 
Mr. Hirori always keeps a di fixed distance. Honestly, by myself um, in the Crimson Dragon Castle feels very lonely. Of course, the bodyguard is there, but still. Uh, me and the bodyguard is scary. What? Are you all right? I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> sorry if I surprised you. So cute. Iksu, stop running, running or you'll fall. Sorry. Is he your little brother? Or, uh... Forgive me, no, we aren't siblings. I'm an apprentice maiden at the shrine, uh, at the service of uh, the shrine. My name's Kashi. This kid is an uh, apprentice priest, Iksu. Lady sh um, shrine maiden and lord priest uh, were apprenti apprentice apprentices. We were picking up flowers to offer at the temple on our way there. Uh, you are Lady Yonhi, right? Do you, do you know me? Yes, you're famous as the commoner who was cho chosen by Lord Yuhan as his legal wife. Af um, after he, legal wife after he turned down all, um, uh, marriage proposals from aristocrats. I can't believe it myself even now that I am his wife. I'm a little shocked that Lord Yuhan chose someone like you. I know, it's quite a mismatch. That's not what I mean. It's because Lord Yuhan dislikes the shrine. I thought he had turned away from the faith in the Crimson Dragon King. But if he hasn't, we might be able to reach a compromise. Yes, certainly. He hasn't turned away from the um, uh, Crimson Dragon King. What? Why has this conversation gone from Lord Yuan's choice of me to the faith in the Crimson Dragon King? Hello, Miss Yanhe. Taking a walk? Lord Eel, living in an unfamiliar castle must be tough. Uh, be sure to enjoy the gardens to uh, your heart's content. Kashi and Iksu seem to be well, too. Thank you very much. Um, er, Lord Eel, please dispense with formal speech towards me. In that case, since you're going to become my elder, elder sister, please cease to be formal with me as well. <laughs> Taking, uh, talking to Lord Eel is a relief. Then I'm stuffing the form formality, okay? Um, I'm, I say I'm looking forward to the wedding ceremony. Oh my god, I can't wait for this wedding ceremony. Um, if you receive your blessing at the shrine, everlasting happiness will be bestowed upon you. Well, uh, could it be, po could it possibly be that my lord brother does not even plan to have his wedding at the shrine? That's about it. What's with that? No matter how you look at it, in that case, the marriage might not be confirmed. Eh? The Crimson Dragon King is the symbol of uh, Kuka Kingdom. It's because we treasure the Crimson Dragon King that the Dragon Gods bestow their protection on us. Uh, disregarding that will bring ruin upon us. I trust you understand. By receiving the blessing at the shrine, uh, Lord Brother and the pledge, um, uh, and brother and you pledge to the peace of Kuka Kingdom. Lord Eel, I am a descendant of that Crimson Dragon King. Dragon King. That said, what that same um, Crimson Dragon King has left us was a short life. Um, I really don't know whether that faith bears any connection to the peace of Kuka Kingdom. I know. Um, how about we pay a visit to the shrine? To the shrine? I was right on my way to my morning prayer. The high priest will show, truly show you the good, uh, the good path. Uh, you'll understand if you meet him. Are you coming too? Yes. Yes. Are you all right? Um, now then, let's grab hands. Uh, Kashi, take this kid's right, um, and I'll take his left. Let's go slowly. Lord Eel is so kind. Lord Johan, too, understands this wonderful side of Lord Eel. If I could get them to meet halfway by understanding the issue with the temple, it's here. Okay, so now we're getting to the temple. Let's see what, what's going on here. A magnificent building, right? I think the current high priest stands out even among the uh, successive generation of, generations of priests. It'll be great if the wedding takes place here. Really, it looks more imposing than the inner sanctuary of, um, in the Crimson Dragon Castle. This is where I pray for the peace of the country every morning. Uh, it's my master. Forgive me, High Priest, I'm a little tardy today. He, the Crimson Dragon King, is tolerant, Prince Eel. I understand why Lord Yuan hates the, sh hates the shrine. This is a place where the High Priest looks down on the royal family as they bow their heads. Oh, I totally get it. Oh, for sure. High Priest, today I've brought along a very important person. Miss Yonhi, who's a uh, betrothed to my lord brother. You are... I have... I have to leave this place and quick. Why do I... Uh, from you, I can feel something very sac uh, sacred. High Priest? That's the first time I feel something like this. You... Could you perhaps... I feel the same, Lord Priest. I feel that the Crimson Dragon King's blood flows within this person. Oh, he knows! So you also feel like... So you also feel like Kashi? What, what a godsend! Wait, what a turn of fate! What is this about? What's the matter with Miss Yanni? Prince Eel, this person is a um, blood descendant of the Crimson Dragon King. And all this time, um, I have believed that the blood um, was alive, that that blood was alive somewhere in this world. Please wait, I'm just a human. I know the Crimson Dragon King also assumed human form. This, you've got the wrong person. 
It's not. It's not a uh, Lady Yamahi. The Crimson Dragon King and descendant of the Dr um, Crimson Dragon King. Amazing. Seriously, from the time of legends, everyone in your family has inherited that blood. Then, Lord, um, Lord Eel, where's your family now? Are the four dragons also living by your side, Lord Eel? I, Eel, Lord Yuan, Eel, why did you bring Yanni to this place without my permission? You know I hate this place more than anything. No, Lord Brother, Lord Brother, did you know Miss Yanni is a relative, a uh, blood relative of the Crimson Dragon King? What are you sleep talking now? You keep coming in and out of this place to, to the point of your uh, point you're now hallucinating. Yoni, we're going back. You knew it, didn't you? What? We're brothers. I could tell when you're lying, Lord Brother. Why did you hide it? Isn't it a wonderful thing that the Crimson Dragon Kings, uh, that the blood of the gods has returned to this castle? This is the will of the heavens. I don't get your meaning. Yoni isn't a goddess. Why are you hiding it? Could it be that you uh, thought I'd take an interest in her if it was revealed that uh, she's the descendant of the Crimson Dragon King? Or... It couldn't be that uh, while you mock me for re uh, revering the Crimson Dragon King, um, the truth is that you too desired the King, Lord Brother, and that you planned to monopolize her blood for yourself. Dude, that was going way too far, Eel. Holy shit, that's going way too far. I, I do not, uh, dude, I understand what Suwon meant by Eel being an asshole. I fucking get it. That was so, that's some fucked up shit and also like what i meant by um a lot there's a lot a, a lot of shit being explained or it explains a lot is um with the um uh, crimson dragon's backstory dra dragon's blood's backstory it totally makes a lot of sense why suwon did uh, was doing what he was doing but anyway and then, soon after, uh, then soon after my blood heritage became known to the high pri Lord High Priest and his assistants, the dreadful oppression began. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, so now we're getting to the good shit. This is gonna. We already, and I'm gonna say this. We, or, as I said, we already had enough of an explanation of why Suwon was doing what he was doing. But now we're gonna get to the juicy shit. Now we're gonna get to the real reason. Uh, get even to more of the of um of uh the meat of why suwon is was doing what he was uh, doing or what he did what he did um yanhi the priests have all been executed uh good there there are no longer pe any people who know your secret nobody will be prying into it either i'll forbid eel from speaking about it and i know what um yuhan did was extreme but at the same time i don't blame him for it those the, the what the the priests were doing this was some cult shit that was happening and he was protecting he was protecting um his he was protecting his woman he wanted he didn't want his woman to be worshipped like that he didn't want his woman to be taken away and he was also worried that his brother because his, his brother was going nuts and also not just his woman his um her family she, he was protecting her family as well because he promised her um, uh, her mother. You, uh, I gotta give props to that. Be at ease in chapter 193 is titled The Price of Being a Favorite. Oh man, I feel so... I, I know killing is wrong. I do, but this has got to be one of those situations that I gotta side with it. That day, the Lord High Priest and the others in the temple who had found out about my secret forced themselves into my clan's ground ground and they eventually managed to locate the residents in the outskirts of uh of uh kudo that lord yuhan had bestowed them enraged by that lord yuhan executed many pre uh many uh beginning with the head priest the temple too was burned to the ground See, again remember what i just you heard what i said this was a this was justified shit this was justified shit you uh, you didn't he was protecting his woman and her people and her family. And um, Emperor Junam was uh, livid at Lord Yuhan's deeds and reprimanded him se severely. However, the populace, who had deemed the political interference on the part of the priests to be out of bounds, supported Lord Yuhan. Yeah! Dude, the people get it! The Emperor was being fucking stupid. The people totally understood what Lord Yuhan was doing. I'm glad the people were fucking smart. Good on the people on that. 
priest apprentices? Yes, I wish to search for a girl called Kashi and a, bo a small boy called Iksuf. I understand, however, I heard, I've heard i heard that the priests have been almost all executed. Those two m must also have... They're still children. They can't possibly be. Your ladyship is certainly um, happy, uh, Lady Yonhi. Eh? Doesn't your ladyship know? When in battle, Lord Yuhan is not um, low to submit his enemies to extreme torture or to burn little girls to death. However, that's precisely why our country is able to overpower the other nations and our people have been enjoying the uh, bliss of peace. But the priests are also part of the Kuka, people of Kuka Kingdom. It's a matter of their um, attempting to stand above the king. Lord, you... Yeah, those... Uh, that's... Again, I understand. The people totally understand. Those fuckers were trying trying to uh, rule them. It's kind of like what happened with the um, the priests back in the like in the Middle Ages, where the, the priests were trying. The priests had way too much power. That's what this shit is. So that's why I don't understand why the emperor was being all pissy about it. Like, what the fuck? Why were you being pissy about it? You should have been fucking happy. Lord Yuan will uh, eventually become the king of Kuka. The people understand the actions carried out for the sake of those who must be protected. See? They know. One moon after the um, suppression of, uh, of the priests, I paid a visit to my family's compound in the outskirts of Kudo. Um, I, um, uh, quite large. Yanni, so kind of you to come. Uncle and everyone. Where's mother? I want to meet her. She died! Eh? Your mother, Yoshino, took her, she took her own life! What? What are you saying? We've also been asking ourselves what happened. I trust you heard the story about the Lord High uh, Priest coming to this house. Don't tell me. The Lord High Priest did something to Mother? Well, the Lord High Priest showed us the utmost deference. He expressed sorrow for the history of our of grievances we had to endure. He shed tears over our short lifespan. He told us how he had hope for our existence. We thought our long suffering would be cleansed. Why would such a noble person be burned alive? Dude, he was brainwashing them. I'm sorry. I cannot, I'm sorry, this was some, he was, he was, um, this was some brainwashing that was going on. I know, it, I know I'm gonna get some shit in my comment section. I know I am, but that priest was buttering, uh, the word, right, I'm sorry, the wording was buttering them up. He was buttering them up because he wanted to use them to oppress the people in general. That's what he was doing. He wanted to use them to gain even more control and power. That's what he was doing. Yoshino went um, on crying out over how it had been her fault for revealing the secret of our, um, our family to, the, uh, to Prince Yuhan. She blamed herself for so many priests being marched to their deaths, and in the end she hanged herself. No, that was my fault. Yoni, what we don't understand is why the Lord High Priest was executed. They're walking in our, on our household when Lord Yuhan has, has forbidden prying into our family's matters. Uh, was that crime so serious for them to be burned alive? Did they murder people? Did they steal property? Did they swindle someone? Was it because the Lord High Priest knew about our blood from just looking? Isn't that proof that uh, he was truly a man of God? Meeting that man was the first time I found a, a, um, a meaning to my life, and yet, why such a cruel thing? I know it was cruel. I know it was cruel. But they, but they again, they don't, under, they don't know. And it's because of shit like this because they don't know the full context of everything, that they they were vulnerable to being radicalized. That's the problem. And it's kind of like, God, again, the timing of chapters right now. It's kind of like what's happening with uh, with Antifa. Um, Antifa is preying on, um, on, on kids, on, um, on people that are trying to find a purpose. And by do and cults do it too. And fuck, let's be real. The shit that's going on with the Antifa is, ten, is yes, it's a terrorist group, but it's gotten very cult like. The shit with BLM and Antifa, very, very cult like. If you're watching it and what's going down the streets, but it they're radicalizing people. That's what um, Yuhan was trying to do. Yuhan knew this shit was a cult because you saw the shit that was going on with Eel. That shit is cult like. That was a fucking cult. And that's what Yuhan was doing, was getting rid of a cult. And though, and I just feel bad that they don't know. They don't know the truth. Yuhan needs to explain it to them. 
The Lord High Priest um, was executed merely for rejoicing that the blood descendants of the Crimson Dragon King had appeared and proceeding uh, to meet them. From just the impression he made on me, I felt to... Uh, see? Look, I, I'm going to read this because this proves my fucking point. From just the impression he made on me, I felt distressed and, and unease. I tried to persuade myself that the Lord um, High Priest was the one at fault. Even kids like them got caught up in it. See? This shit was a cult. This shit was a cult. Yoni, I came to fetch you. Why are you crying? Mom has passed away. What did you say? I'll ask your relatives about the cause. Wait, that was you. That's a promise. I'll definitely protect Yanhi and you. If I hadn't met you, that that would have kept some someone from harm, kept someone from dying, wouldn't it? Okay, this is some bullshit. Yanhi, people die every day. Your mother would have died sometime. I know it sounds insensitive as fuck, but yes, it, it, sh it would have happened. But the thing is, is those motherfuckers were a fucking cult. They would have done some extreme shit and they, they would have, eventually, them motherfuckers would have found you and they would have been indoctrinating, indoctrinating you and it would have ended up worse. Just saying. If, it, if I hadn't been a descendant of the Crimson Dragon King, if I hadn't been born, oh, don't do that. Yoni, don't cry. You're terrible. Don't cry. You're sweet. Dude, I love you on so much. Oh my God. And again, I... I do not blame Su I, I hate that this has come to this. But I can't blame Suwon for what he fucking did. I can't blame him. Suwon, Suwon, where are you? Lord Suwon, is he over there? No. Um, gosh, no sooner than I take my eyes off him, he's gone. Ah, speaking of, Yanni, huh? Lord Yuhan, Suwon. Um, he entered my office. Oh my, I apologize. He repeated what was said in the meeting from memory, eh? Nine years after that, Lord Yuhan had become known as a hero uh, for his numerous war victories. Here I am. Hey, Mom. Uh, General Sujin said something, uh, some, uh, said interesting things. Do you understand them? Father is going to show me military exercises soon. My physical condition has been deteriorating for a long time. I was finally blessed with a son, but the one who came was a very bright child brimming with curiosity. Uh, be it language or physical prowess, he was three times as talented as normal people. Military exercises, you say? Isn't it too soon? This is par for the course if you're born in a uh, born in a royal family. It's born. I think it's supposed to be uh, 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 family, but whatever. This little guy is is clever. He'll be a great man who'll who'll leave his name on um on hi on in history. Yonhi, I heard Il has taken a wife. A wife out of the blue without um, announcing it to everyone, to anyone. He also refused to have a grand wedding ceremony. Why? It seems the woman has a large wound, uh, wound on her face and he doesn't want to show her to other people. She's a plebeian, so naturally the aristocrats opposed it. Woo! So Eel! I think Eel realized. He learned from he learned from his brother. He learned, um... And I think that's what Yuhan wanted to ultimately show him. And I think he saw it. He's, he took his brother's example and saw what true love was. And he wanted that, and that's what he did. Uh, what do you think of it, Lord uh, Yuhan? If he wants to get married, I'll give him my full support. He'll give us his, his blessings when it was our turn. Lord Eel getting married. Lord Eel and I have become estranged after that. Having also distanced himself from Lord Yuhan, it seems he lives in seclusion inside the castle. I'll give him my full support. God, he's such a good brother. Eh, are you all right? Are you feeling ill? What's the problem? Can you stand up? Let's get out of the sun. Should I call someone? I've never seen her. But right now, only members of the royal family or people who receive special permission uh, may enter this garden. I'll fan you. Is that who I think that is? Ooh. I'll fan you. That's Yona's mama! Suwon, that's enough! Okay. My unsightly visage. No. A burn. There's a large wound on her face. Are you perhaps Lord Eel's bride? Oh my god, that's Yona's mama! Yes. I see, so it was you. I'm glad to meet you. Uh, I'm Lord Yon, uh, Yohan's uh, wife. My name's Yoni. This child's our son, Suwon. How do you do? Nice to meet you. What happened to your face? Suwon! Forgive his rudeness. This is the opposite of that time, isn't it, Lady Yonhee? <gasps> no! 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 Ka That's Kashi! No! Kashi? You're alive! Lord Eel, let's go. Please wait. Kashi was 
was alive all this time? I've... That girl is dead. She died in the temple that day. Please speak no longer of her. I won't to anyone, I promise. Lord Ilk, it was all my fault. Please present me all you want, but Lord Johan, enough of this, because I am happy. No matter how long it took, I thought it, it would be nice if we could be halfway. At the time, I even living in peace. Your ladyship is happy, Lord, Lady Yonhe. The word said to me by a nondescript court lady amounted to your naive. Oh my god, so that was, what? this this explains so fucking much this explains a lot but um i'm just curious su okay here's what i think suan um, i think we're gonna see in the next chapter how suan found out about everything because suan's cure you know he's fucking smart as hell he figured it out he must have learned it somehow he must have went he must have went through the records and found out but anyway i'm very curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts uh, do and obviously obviously eel held a grudge the thing is though and it's it's very sad is yuan didn't hold a grudge at all and now we know why Suwon said that Yuan was supposed to be uh, supposed to be king. The reason why he wasn't king was because of this shit with the priest. And that's bullshit. I totally I totally have to side with Suwon on this one. But let's be real. Yona's Yona's going to be the rightful. She's going to take her place back. When Suwon because Yona is the rightful queen. She totally is. But God, I, I, I can't believe I'm siding with Suan on this. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Sync if you love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more um, uh, Yona content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can join me to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, and purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Friendly, and PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.